I'm Sarah from Charity Shift, and I work with small nonprofits to help them fundraise more. So I'm going to be talking about Loom. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Loom, it is a video messaging tool that helps you instantly share videos. What's really great about it, I think not only is it free or updated subscription is about $10 a month, but it also delivers directly to an email inbox. So no need to download or sign up for anything for the recipient. And it also will record your camera, your microphone, and your desktop all at one time. So from a fundraising perspective, one of the ways that I've seen this work really well is to do report backs to donors. So imagine that you are running a food bank and something exciting happens within the organization. And in that moment, you can record a video on your phone and share it directly with your supporters. It's also a really great way to thank your donors. Being that it's mid-January, for those of you that are in small organizations, you're probably quite busy doing your handwritten thank you notes and all the follow-up that's required after our big holiday fundraising campaigns. Loom videos are fantastic. It takes about a minute to five minutes, maybe at the most, to just quickly record a video and directly thank your donors. Another way that I've seen it work really well, especially for those of you who are responsible for tech within your organizations, with IT support, because you can record, as I mentioned, your microphone, your camera, and your desktop all at the same time. It's a really great tool to use when you are trying to share instructions. So how many times have we had somebody say, oh, I got locked out of my system or I forgot my password or how do I update in our donor database? You can record that answer. You can record yourself actually completing that task while you are talking about the, the instructions that you're providing. It's a really great way to give examples. It's also nice for those of us who have new employees joining us, we can welcome them by video. It's so much more personal than just an email. And it also helps people feel a bit more connected to their teams when they are working in different time zones, different locations, and that sort of thing. As I mentioned, talking about instructions for repeated or for complex tasks, that's something that I really like. It also saves time in terms of not having to have meetings or set up a time to meet, to walk somebody through something. You can just record yourself doing that on the screen. So in terms of Loom, as I mentioned, it is free and you can have up to 25 videos. Once you hit beyond 25 videos, it is about $10 Canadian a month, like $8 US. But I would say in terms of the time savings and the cost savings for those communication pieces that you're able to use quite a bit faster. And for various purposes, I feel like it's a really good investment for small organizations. As well, I found so much feedback from donors who open up their email and they have a video that's directly for them that really makes your organization stand out. Great question. How does it differ from Canva video creation? It's similar, Ryan. I haven't used the Canva video creation, so I'm not too sure how it looks on the recipient side. I know with Loom, it will directly play within within the actual email. So that is one bonus. You don't need to leave the actual email to, to view the Loom video, but I'm not too sure about Canva video creation. I know Canva's got some fantastic different content creation pieces. And I just wanted to mention in terms of why video, I think is a big trend, about 80% of content is retained from video. And it's also obviously for people who learn differently are able to both visualize, see what's happening, receive the message, and also of course, pause, rewind, rewatch content as much as they need. I will put a link to Loom as well as to my LinkedIn if anybody has follow-up questions, or if you do use Loom, I'd love to hear how you are using it in your organization. Thanks so much.